We are in VirtualBox version 6, and let's see how we can add multiple monitors so we can see multiple monitors when we boot up our virtual machine. I'm going to take this uh, Windows 10 client, but you can choose whatever. You can use server, you can do clients, any version of clients. They all work pretty much the same. And we're going to right-click on it and go to Settings. Once we're in Settings, and again, the virtual machine has to be turned off, so you see that it is powered off. I just want to make sure that you have that, otherwise you won't be able to make these changes until it is shut off. We'll click on Display, and now we have Monitor Count. So right now, by default, it's set to 1. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 2, but as you can see, I can add a lot of monitors in here. Now, as I add monitors, take a look at the video memory. It, it gives the ability to add a lot more memory. And this memory is going to be taken from your video card if you have it, your physical video card if you have it. If you don't, it'll take it from the RAM on your computer. So I'm going to back off, and we can see that the maximum amount of RAM keeps going down. So if I have two uh, monitors, the 128 is the maximum. And I recommend you always choose the maximum if you have that uh, amount of RAM available. And if you're not sure, you can consult the video card manufacturer's website, put in the model that you have from Device Manager, and it'll tell you. All right, so we're just going to do two because it's easier to show in this video. Uh, the next thing we're going to show is where it says Scale Factor. By default, all monitors, or you can switch to monitor 1 or monitor 2, are going to show 100%. But if you have a really big physical monitor that you're watching on, and or you just have vision issues, you can slide that up to show a larger scale. But I'm going to leave it at 100% just so you can see what the default looks like. And in most cases, that'll be fine. The next thing we see in version 6 of VirtualBox is the graphics controller. So if you hit the drop down, um, you're going to see the default, in my case, is just plain old VGA. But you also have the option for VMS VGA or VBox SVGA. So what's the difference? Well, a lot of it has to do with the type of physical graphics controller you have. Uh, VBox VGA is the default and it is the simplest of all of them. If you have a higher end uh, graphics card, I would suggest you try the higher one. If it doesn't work right, then shut the VM down, then choose the next one, then choose the, the, the VGA to the, to the default if you need to because um, that will give you the minimum amount of power and RAM needed to make the multiple monitors to work. So you can always start at the top and work your way down if you need to. And the last thing is the acceleration. You have 3D acceleration, again, if you have a high-end video card, which in my case I do have, or you can go with 2D acceleration. So what the difference is, is once again, the physical card has to support it. And what I've found is that in some cases, if you check the 3D acceleration box, your uh, virtual machines will run faster because the video card is capable of doing it. If it, it's not of doing it'll actually run slower if you check the box so once again there's no one size fits all uh, so I recommend that you uh, try checking 3D acceleration. If that doesn't work, try clicking 2D acceleration and uncheck 3D. And if that doesn't work, just leave none of the boxes checked. All right, so once that's done, we'll click OK. So we've, we're going to double click on this virtual machine, and we're going to end up with two uh, monitors. When the virtual machine first boots up, we're not going to see both of these monitors right away. It takes a few extra seconds and it's going to take an additional step. So we'll go ahead and click on that box there to shut that down. We'll log in, and then we'll go into the display properties, and we will extend our video to show up on the second monitor. And this is the same thing you would have to do if you had two physical monitors connected into one computer. So for those of you who have this, this next step uh, should be very familiar. We are booted into our virtual machine. We're going to right-click anywhere on the desktop and choose Display Settings. Now, right now, it only shows the one monitor, but we can easily add that in. Now, if you click Detect, it doesn't really help, so don't even bother with that. So what we need to do is where it says Multiple Displays, it says Show Only on One. So we have the option. We can show only on two, which doesn't really help us. We can go to duplicate these displays, which, again, in my opinion, doesn't really help us because it's just going to give us two of the same thing. Extend these displays makes the most amount of sense, I think, for most of us. So we'll click on Extend These Displays, and we'll click Apply. So now we see the second monitor comes up. We'll click Keep Changes, and now we see two different monitors, which we can then resize if we'd like. 
And if you have more than one physical monitor, you can move these monitors to different locations. Or you can have them on the same one as I do here. So if I open up any one of these programs, let's just say Photos, for instance, I can take these photos, I can move them between the different monitors. So right now it's on the right side. I can double click and maximize it, or I can drag it over to the left side and maximize it. If I want to undo any of that, I can go back to my display settings and undo it. The other thing I can do, which I think is useful, is I can change the position of the monitor. So if I end up putting my virtual machine monitors on top of each other, uh, such as I have my uh, physical monitor where I move the second monitor over to the location, then it's not going to be left to right. It's going to be up and down. So we'll want to move the uh, number two above the number one. Once you get everything set exactly the way you want and you have the acceleration set the way you want, you can now go ahead and play with your multiple monitors, make it work the way you need it to work for you.